Hi, Mom from the Funny Farm. Welcome to another episode of What Are We Canning Today? Today, we are canning meatloaf. For this recipe, which I have doubled, you will need four pounds of lean ground beef, four eggs, three cups of seasoned breadcrumbs, two thirds cup of ketchup, two packages of Lipton onion soup mix, and one and a half cups of water. First step, beat your eggs. Beat it, beat it. <laughs> Add your ketchup to your beaten eggs and mix. Add your mixture to your meat. Add the water. Add your onion soup mix. As usual, my hands are my favorite tool. Mix up your meatloaf. Yeah, That look yucky, mm. but good at the same time. As we haven't added our breadcrumbs yet. And finally, we'll add in our breadcrumbs. <laughs> That's a lot of meatloaf, man. I know, I need a bigger bowl. Be careful not to overmix. Now we're going to pack our coveted pint and a half wide mouth jars. Make sure you firmly pack your meat. We're leaving a little more than an inch of headspace. And what are we doing? Say it with me. Wipe, wipe your, your rims, rims with wipe them. Wipe them rims, baby. Wipe them rims, baby. Nobody likes a dirty rim. Nobody likes a dirty <laughs> rim. Especially next to your meat, you don't like a dirty rim. No dirty rims by your meat, no. <laughs> We've got our lids in warm water and on they go. It's very concentrated. Very concentrating. <laughs> Rings on, fingertip tight because we're pressure canning. And into the canner we go. We have three quarts of water and I'm adding a splash of vinegar. We've checked our lid and on it goes. Burner on medium high. Now we wait for our nipple to pop and a steady stream of steam. The nipple is popped. I have a steady stream of steam and I'm setting the timer for 10 minutes. It's been 10 minutes, on goes the wait. I've turned the heat down to keep the gauge at 10 pounds of pressure. Now I'm setting the timer for 90 minutes. 90 minutes is up, it's time to take the lid off. And our meatloaf is cooked. The only thing left to do now is let them cool, remove our meatloaf rings, and put them on the shelf after I've labeled them. And it's shelf stable one to two years. 